Hey guys, Cory Mushrooms here. I just wanted to show you what I'm going to do today with my find of um, shaggy manes here. They, they are inky caps, uh, copernus. Uh, so let's see. Um, I got a huge batch here today at my favorite spot. It seems to fruit every couple of years, I guess. Um, anyway, I picked a whole basket, and as you can see, in the hour that I picked them, some of them have already started to change, um, to start to ink up, but this is about as dark as I will eat them. This one looks like it got a little bit too dark. Let me see here. Yeah, that one I'm going to throw on my lawn and let it ink out. Maybe, who knows, maybe I'll get some in the future. But um, what I did was I just went and grabbed them. I'm going to try to do this one-handed so I can still show you guys. So it might be a little bit messy. Clean off my... So I just cut them in half like that. And then I just use a sh like shore lunch. In this case, I'm using um, original recipe batter. And I have the batter here. And uh, eggs. So I will just take the tail oh, eggs first. Take the shaggy mane, and you can you can consume this with alcohol. This does not have the chemical that reacts with it to um, not let you absorb or break down alcohol. Anyway, um, batter it up, and I probably should have started my, my oil, which I didn't do, but you can get the idea of what I'm going to do. Um, get it nice and battered up. And I just batter them up first and then kind of do them all at once. I don't really like to do them one, one at a time. Um, so that's pretty much it. You'll just throw it in, you'll fry it up just like you would anything else. Um, that you want to fry up. Here's a really, really big one. Usually these come out pretty clean. I don't pick the stems with them because they pop off really easily. If you saw my video of me picking them, you would see that they just kind of pop right off the stem. Don't, don't need the stem, but this is the biggest one I've ever found. And it looks really, really good still. So yeah, that's a, that's huge. So the small ones are really good. They're very firm. Um, here's one in my basket that I picked them when they were pink and they change color really, really fast. So you definitely want to use them within the hour, like at most, really. And they don't really store well. See this one, it changed so fast. Um, here's one that actually came with the stipe attached to it. But, um, I'd, let me, I'd like to show you how it pops off, but I have one hand, so let me see. I doubt I can do it. Nope. It just broke. Oh, well. Let me see if my oil's hot enough, and I'll throw, throw one in. Yeah. Good stuff. So, egg. So simple, you guys. And really, really good. Um, if you've ever had fried bluegill, it tastes exactly like fried bluegill. So I highly recommend these for anybody, and it's so easy and it's so good, and um, they uh, make just good snack. So, yeah, that's it. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something, and I'll talk soon. Bye, guys.